Hey, it's Steve Kyler with your 2010-2011 Philadelphia 76ers season preview. Last season in Philadelphia it was all about picking up on the playoff promise that the roster held, but Eddie Jordan brought in as a head coach last summer, not able to get it done. A fractured locker room that did not believe in their coach. A lot of finger pointing and a lot of me first basketball being played in Philadelphia ultimately cost Eddie Jordan his job and the Philadelphia 76ers their season. 27 wins was the result, which meant they ended up in a good situation in, in the draft lottery, ultimately getting number two overall pick, Evan Turner. Uh, the uh, Really, the only big draft addition was Evan Turner. Really, the only major addition to the roster was Evan Turner. Tony Batty picked up as a free agent. There were a couple of trades that were done. They moved out. Uh, Samuel Dallenbear to the Sacramento Kings, bringing in Spencer Hawes and Andres Nocioni. So they do get some new blood in, but really, Philadelphia's season is going to be about their existing players living up to their potential. Jeru Holiday, the first round draft pick last year, looked very good, very solid, both offensively and defensively in Summer League. Evan Turner, not so much, but we will see what Evan becomes because really Evan is probably not going to start, although I think a lot of people expect him to. It's going to be more about uh, Marie Spates, it's going to be about Thaddeus Young and Andre Iguodala. $80 million the 76ers gave Andre, and it's time for him to earn it. New head coach Doug Collins coming in, really seeing that there's some potential there in Andre Iguodala. Thinks he can turn Andre into a real superstar level player at this league. A lot of people believe Andre is the perfect complementary player, so we'll see if Andre is able to step into that superstar type role that, that the team really and desperately needs him to be. The other big news, of course, is Elton Brand. He is completely healthy. He's been training very hard in the offseason. Doug Collins spending a little bit of time with Elton and just saying that he's trying to get Elton back to enjoying playing the game. You know, Elton, of course, is, has been the poster child for bad contracts in the NBA right now, so he's got a lot to prove coming into camp. Doug Collins is Mr. Optimistic when it comes to this team, and now you have Rod Thorne as team president backing up Ed Stefanski. So a little bit of new leadership, a new voice, new direction with the Philadelphia 76ers, but all of the direction, all of the change has got to be about improvement and living up to expectations with the existing players on the roster. It's not out of the question that Philadelphia is a trade player uh, at the trade deadline, but right now the message from Philadelphia is these are the guys that can get us back to the playoffs, and we'll have to see if that takes place. I'm Steve Kyler. That was your 2010-2011 Philadelphia 76ers season preview.